CapCut released a new version of their desktop edition and with the new update it is now possible to edit curve graphs for keyframes. Let's have a quick look using this simple clip. I'm going to add a couple of keyframes on the scale using the keyframe icon. Now that I have set up the keyframes I will change the scale in the second keyframe. This will start scaling the video from the first keyframe and then scale it down after the second keyframe. As you might notice, the scaling is linear. With the latest update, we can change this behavior. First, we need to enable the keyframe editor, which we can do by right-clicking on the video and selecting Show Keyframe Animation. CapCut will now show a gray bar on top of the video with the properties being keyframed, which in our case is the scale. When we click on the scale and then press this chevron at the end of the clip, the keyframe graph will be shown. Pretty awesome. The three keyframes are shown and as mentioned the graph is linear. When we select a keyframe and click on the auto curve icon, it will smoothen the transition. Let's also do it for the other two keyframes. We get a much smoother animation. The cool part of the keyframe graph is that it is super easy to adjust the property value of the keyframe by moving it up or down. It also allows us to reposition the keyframe in time by moving it to the left or the right. Of course, we can also adjust the handles to modify the curve. Let's add some additional keyframes, for example on the position. Notice how two new sections have been added an X and an I section representing the position. To see their graphs we need to select a section and use the down chevron just like we did earlier with the scale to see the graph. A minor disadvantage is that CapCut can only show one section at a time. Another cool new feature is that you can select multiple keyframes in the graph editor and remove them easily by pressing delete. If you remove all the keyframes in a section, just as I did right now in the X section, the whole section will be removed as there are no keyframes anymore. One thing that is disappointing is that you cannot move multiple keyframes at once. When I select the two keyframes in the I section and try to move them, only the first keyframe is moved. Hopefully, they will fix this in the newer updates. Once you're done editing the keyframes, you can use the Hide Keyframe menu item from the context menu to hide the keyframe sections. I think this keyframe graph was one of the most requested features and I'm glad CapCut also implemented this on the desktop version. Hopefully the other features from the mobile version will be added soon. Let me finish up this clip by adding a chrome blur effect on top of the scale up which will create this motion blur effect. Talking about effects, it would also be super useful if CapCut would enable keyframing on the effect parameters which I am really missing. Let's export and preview the end result. Thank you for watching and until the next video.